My name is Juan Sanchez. I'm from Puerto Rico. Dominic from Puerto Rico. Uh, I've been doing this for since 1996, 95. I've been teaching at University of Puerto Rico and other universities at the same time. Um, I was brought to try to do these kind of things through Jill Lavelle a long time ago, and uh, because she wanted me to speak in in English, uh, because as you know, I'm bilingual. Um, so I learned I learned hypnosis by 19 uh, 1980 something 92, and uh, I've been practicing, but. I needed to come to Florida, take care of some business, and I went back to Puerto Rico because I have a family business to take care. And during that time in 1995, 96, I took a first course with somebody in iridology and natural therapy. During that time, I went to Venezuela. I came back, and like I was telling uh, uh, some of the guys, you need to practice this. If you try... If you really try hard and try to look at the iris, at least 10 people a week by next month, the middle of next month or so, you are familiar with the therapy and you know how to work with people. Um, I'm just going to give you a little bit of history about iridology. Everything started in Europe. And, And in Europe, there was a doctor, just going fast on this, there was a doctor who saw that there was a bird hanging on a tree and felt, and saw that there was a white spot in his iris. But he was a medical doctor, and he used to go to the hospital and, and see his clients. During this time that he was feeding this bird, he noticed that the white part of the iris was clearing. Fabulous, right? Clearing. So he tried to do a, start to do a mapping of the eyes or the iris with the patients. And then he did his own map. There's about four maps, but the one that you have is like the latest. It has been modified just slightly. So uh, there's a not, that's, that's, that's what you have, the latest. And if you want more update, you could probably, probably download it from the internet. And, uh, that's the basic reason. There's some French people who did another map, Spanish people uh, from Spain, et cetera, et cetera. And, and the, one that the, the one that you have has been used all around the world and is from an American gent. Okay? Every two years, every two years, if you're really into this, I haven't been to it, but if you really get serious about it, you could take a course in Greece. It's a, it's a worldwide convention. They will teach you every spot. They will tell you every details and every latest finding about iridology. Uh, what I'm basically going to teach you guys is that um, something basic that you can use and probably just give follow-up to the person. Now, there's some people like her whom they said, how do you use, how do you use this with hypnosis? Sometimes, uh, I told about a case, and I'm going gonna, uh, gonna to repeat it again. There's some people that have been going to different doctors, just like, like us. I mean, who's the last person they go, you know, after they've been to a couple of doctors, gospel, or psychologists, et cetera, et cetera, is us, you know, as a hypnotherapist, you know. They even went to the witch doctor first before they come to you. And it's true. There's a lot of people who does that kind of culture. And... When you have this kind of different tools, I'm just going to explain you one very good that I had about, uh, well, like probably 12 or 15 years ago. It was a girl. She was nine years, and she was uh, having, uh, she was urinating, uh, peeing in her bed. And the first thing I said, well, I need your blood type. That's how I work, and I would like to see your, your iris. And uh, with her mother, she sat down, and when I went to see her, she was having a problem with her bladder. It didn't show in the lab test, okay? That was the thing. She was going to doctors, and it didn't show in the lab test, in laboratory. But I saw some little things. So uh, between you and I, I gave her garlic with parsley. This pills cost like $5, 100 right now. 
two capsules two times a day. And I told it to come back. And also, I gave up a post-hypnotic suggestion not to drink a lot of water after going to bed. You know, don't take Coke, blah, blah, blah. You know, a little diet, just a little diet through post-hypnotic suggestion. <clears throat> and less, probably in, in less than a week and a half, the girl was not peeing no more. She was under control. Right now, she has kids. She's married. She's like 20 or something years old, and she's happy. <clears throat> but it was something for me. It was something very simple, just to give the extra mild, just to see, it, with that little knowledge, just to see if I could help in another different way. Probably it could be some kind of suggestion, but this girl did do it. Did do it. She'd been to other hypnotherapists and stuff like that. So uh, that's uh, one of the basic things that you could probably help people. And I just saw a little spot. I didn't go in a lot of detail. I said. This is different from this iris. Let's try to work with her. And then in the following week, if she wasn't doing some kind of progress, what I did is just give her another thing. But I was lucky. <laughs> Let's say, put it like that. It was accurate what it was happening. She did have a little infection, but it was not showing in her bladder. Okay? Uh, so there's a lot of things you could do, and I've been teaching this to even professors, uh, to teachers in, uh, in the high school, and when they do this with, with the girls, with the young girls, sometimes they try to find out different, different things. And uh, a couple of uh, teachers had tell me, you know, sometimes I see when they're, and, and this is not to be judged, if they're going to be pregnant or not. <laughs> but she has been specializing and seeing these kind of people from high school. So it's different from what, what I could see, what she could see, and her history. Well, as a, as a, so that, that blew my mind. I said, I, I, I have seen it, but, you know, you guys have more opportunity to see the girl and see the guys and see what's having problem. When I was uh, teaching a lot, of, I was in the, in the University of Puerto Rico in Mayaway area, I used to bug women and, and, and male, you know, and I used to look at the sex organ, which you're going to see in the, in the zone for six and five on your map, and I used to go to them and just look at their eyes if they, if they have clear eyes, and I say, you know, you're probably having a problem with your sex life. <laughs> just <laughs> generic, just to bring a kind of report. And it's, they used to say, why? Why? Are you a witch doctor or something like that? They don't know. And I start with the history. In South America, the way that they used to, the doctors used to do this by the 1950s a lot, especially in Argentina, all this area, they used to do that. Of course, most of the culture comes directly from uh, Europe. So they were integrating that kind of thing together with auricular therapy and acupuncture. So... Uh, Through the history, we've been seeing a lot of iris, and you're going to have the pleasure of trying to learn this thing. Like I told you, you have to try to do this at least ten times a week, or five. You know, just it's just a matter of seeing iris, getting together with it. Uh, I will teach you also at this time how to uh, see the the white of the uh, iris and uh, the purple, the the middle of the of the iris. So let's start. Uh, somebody has a question right now? Oh, related? Okay. Are you guys? Uh, yeah, it's okay here. Okay, this is the mouth. I'm just trying to imitate something here so we could have a, a clear picture of it. As you see in your map, you have some zones, okay? Most of the time, what we're trying to look, one of the main spots or main things that we're going to be looking is, not here, I'm just trying to, if you see a spot that is completely dark, that it looks like the pupil, outside the, uh, inside the zone of the iris, that's what I basically look for. And that's so. Most of the people have problem 
uh, if they're old, I say old, like 50 or old, most of the time you're going to see or problem with the spine or problem with the sexual organs. So I just keep that because if your hormones balance, it, it, I mean, if your hormones are not balanced, you know, everything is going to be triggered in one way or another. So I just tell them, that was funny. <laughs> I need to record it to you. <laughs> that was real funny. Anyhow, what she did is she just tried to look at his. <laughs> okay, so that's what I do. I just look at that kind of part to see how the hormones are working. And that's just an idea, but it could be up here. It could be down here. It doesn't matter, but it has to be completely dark. Another thing that I forgot to tell you is that iridology is the science of something that could be from your family roots. It could be some kind of organ that is going uh, energy-wise, is going down, and it also could be an organ that could probably in the future you have to take care of it. So it's important that you know this because you could probably ask for something, oh, what happened with your your heart or your, or your ears or whatever, and uh, it's... Nothing is happening there, but it's something that I have to be aware of so they can take care in the future. It's just like a prevention sort of things. Okay, so you know that this part, I mean this part, you know, it has to be completely dark. I mean that probably that organ is in critical condition. Critical condition, if you see some kind of spot, always. Yes? Um, some of, you realize some of the hand I've had in Spanish? Um, if you didn't get English and you would prefer English, uh, if you could raise your hand, yeah, we don't have really to Okay. Um, okay. Thank you. <laughs> she wants English, learning learn English. Okay, I'm going to have to make more, but they're kind of like low-eyed. I'm sure there's some of my son. 